Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video from one of my favourite UK eBay sellers. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the name of the eBay seller because I'll probably get it wrong but I'll pop it up on screen and link them in the description because I'm never disappointed when I get plants from them and I wanted to share that with you. I'm sure a lot of you in the UK will have already used this seller but if you haven't then hopefully this will encourage you to because I think they're really great. So we have a parcel. So I'm going to open it up now with you and I'll pop a picture on screen of the plants as they were described in the listing and the picture and then you can see by comparison what we actually are getting compared to what the description says which I'm pretty confident is going to be fairly accurate because I've bought from them quite a lot before and yeah I'm going to talk a little bit about why I ordered these plants because one of them was one that I've been after for quite some time and I bought as a seedling which then kind of rotted during transport so I've got half of a seedling left and it's one that's quite hard to get hold of uh, at least in the UK so although I've been buying quite a few plants recently and didn't really want to buy any more I saw this one come up and I just had to buy it um, somebody please stop me at the moment I'm buying so many orchids um, but yeah let's get unboxing So as you can see, they're pretty well packaged. And what this seller tends to do is to put stakes in the pots, um, which then are secured against the top of the box. So even if the postman decides to put them the opposite way to what they say on the box, which they do say go up that way, um, they won't be damaged which I think is really good and it gives you some extra stakes if you like them. Oh I want to do this one first. Should we do the big one first? I, I have to. So much for building suspense. This, oh my goodness. I'm so excited right now. Oh no. Ah it's mounted in cork or something. This is going to be difficult to work with. But, can't get that on camera. This is a Cattleya violacea variety semi alba. And it's massive. Oh, putting my thumbs right on their new growths. So at least this is a good time to repot, they've got new growths. But just like look at the the size of this plant. And this seller always sends, um, so they're delivered the very next day, at least to where I live. Uh, so you never get any damage from transport. So I will do a separate video repotting this guy. But I mean, how often do you get a plant like that? Especially the Cattleya violacea, which is one I've been looking for for quite a while. And I'm not going to say exactly how much this one is, but it's usually quite expensive for a large size plant. And I paid less than half of what you would pay from a European nursery. Uh, it's got four new growths starting. Five, six six new growths and a couple of dormant eyes that I'm not sure if they're going to kick back into life. But yeah, I'm going to have to do a separate video repotting this guy. Okay, now that that one's over, the other two are going to be a little bit anticlimactic. But one of them is a Vanda. Oh! I didn't I ordered three plants in total not four just the note they always put in with this saying 
to thank people for their custom. And this is their website. So they have an actual separate website to their eBay store. That's their card that they've included. And you know what two of these are. This one is a Vanda, well, this is Vanda Suavis. I'm not sure if this is Vanda Tricolor of Bar Suavis, because they did also have a tricolor. Um, I'm a little bit confused with the whole tricolor Suavis situation. But I chose the Suavis because I think it means tricolor Bar Suavis, although there is an, a, a Suavis, I think, as well. Gonna have to look into this more, see what I've actually bought. But I think I've got the tricolor Suavis. And it's one that I've wanted for a while. And you don't often see them come up as flowering size. And this one isn't flowering size, but from the picture, and I'll pop that up on screen, which I would say is pretty accurate, I would say that this is probably the largest one that I've seen for sale at a reasonable price. It's a nice healthy little vanda. Okay, and this one is the Polystaca Bella. Now, I might have been silly getting this plant because I don't know a lot about it. And I'm going to have to do some research. I don't know why I didn't do more research before I bought it, but I looked into it. They don't tend to put pictures of the flowers up on their website. They just put pictures of the plants, which are usually very representative of what you're actually going to get. And then it's kind of up to you to do some Googling and some research. And this one, the flowers looked amazing and it said they smelled like primroses. So I was pretty sold just from that description and put it in the basket because it wasn't very much. So I'm kind of willing to take a chance on it for the price I paid. And I'm going to have to do some more research into this one. I'll do separate repotting videos and then hopefully by then I will be able to tell you a little bit more about this plant. But you can see it's got a nice plump shiny pseudo bulb there. It's got three pseudo bulbs. It looks like it's a division maybe. Yeah. And now we're gonna see what's in here. I never get bonus orchids. This never happens. I have been buying quite a lot from the seller recently, so I guess I guess I've spent enough to get a bonus orchid, which is a little bit worrying to be honest. Looks like a little Mastodalia of some kind, maybe. Mastabalia nidifica yellow present <laughs> with a smelly base. Well, that's nice. It's a really cute little plant. Looks nice and healthy. I'm just getting really into Mastabalias at the moment. I have, I mean, all of my Mastabalias I bought from them. So I guess they know that I'm starting out with Mastabalias. And we will have a look into this one. It'll have to go downstairs with my other Master Valleys. Isn't that cute? I'm really happy. So it was worth me buying the Cattleya because I got another few reasonably priced orchids put in with it because obviously you're paying for postage so you might as well get some more orchids. And I got a free Master Valia. So those are my th four orchids from today's unboxing and I will put individual videos up on the repots um, at a later date. I'm not going to repot tonight because it's getting quite late and I just got home from work but I'll probably repot them tomorrow. I like to repot as soon as possible but this is going to be a bit of a bit of a job. It's got a lot of roots. That's not usually a problem um, when you buy cut layers. Usually they have no roots so this is a good problem to have. But I will put that video up and I will link the seller in the description as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.